why TBC was the deal. So I want to do a really quick uh, prediction video for Deontay Wilder versus Arthur Spilka. Um, like I said in one of my last videos about this fight, Spilka is no complete, you know, uh, bum as some as you would say. Um, he's he's not a guy. He's better than you know your Jason Gavins and your Travis Walkers and uh, no disrespect to those guys. You're, you know your Constantine uh, Erich and Paul Butlins. He's better than those type of guys. You you could put him in there in the top thirty. Do I think uh, he could beat the top ten? legit top 10 guys mm, probably not but do i think um he has a puncher's chance and a good uh a decent chance of winning yeah but in this fight with deontay water when i break down the styles i believe he's going to get knocked out i don't see this fight going to distance you look at spilka he is very comfortable fighting on the outside which could be a problem he's very patient which is a good thing but deontay wilder has developed his jab to the point that if you want to stay on the outside and just, you know, try to get around his jab all day um, and try to jump in with hooks the way that Spilka likes to fight, I think Deontay Wilder is going to be able to beat him. Not only just with his jab, with his legs, Deontay Wilder has showed that he can be mobile on his feet and uh, go on his back foot and fight with his jab. Now, of course, he wants to come forward and land that uh, long, straight right hand, um, but he showed that he can fight off his back foot in his fights, Deontay Wilder. Um, you know, Spilka, he, the thing with Spilka is, you know, the way he wants to fight, he wants to fight from the outside and then jump in with the ambush style. But I just, and then just the way he leans over, he, you know, he's a southpaw and he loves to circle to his left. Now circling to his left means what? He's going to circle right into Deontay Wilder's right hand. That's not a smart thing to do, circling to a guy's right hand or going to his power shot unless you plan on taking it away, stepping to him and taking it away completely. Spilka just likes to sit back there. So if he's sitting back there trying to fight out of a crouch position, you know, a la uh, Rocky Marciano, trying to fight out of that little crouch, and he's crouching down to his left, he's going to be in perfect target for Deontay Wilder's straight right hand. And Wilder likes to fight down at a, uh, likes to throw his uh, right hand down at an angle sometime he gets good power on it and i could see him catching him with a straight right hand or a right hand he has to probably angle downward a little bit and catch a spilka um standing on the outside Spilka's going to have to find a way to get inside deontay's wilder's jab he's going to have to find a way to want to fight on the inside he likes to fight on the outside a guy with his it's kind of weird he has a a you know he likes to wing shots but he likes to you know fight from the outside and then get in and wing his shots and then get out so he likes to get in and out but i think he's going to get uh met with right hands and hooks and maybe some uppercuts um i do say the first four or five rounds it'll probably it'll probably be a knockout in the seventh i say the four or five rounds just because spilka likes you know he's um content with just staying on the outside and i think water would try to fill him out i don't think water's going to be um wild no pun intended but i think he's going to be wild about it I think that he'll play the little, you know, he'll play the game. And then uh, when Spilka does try to um, spring in and attack, I think by that time uh, he's going to be softened up by jabs and right hands. I think by the time he tries to, you know, pounce, I think it's going to be too late. And I think he's going to get caught flush with shots. And I think he's going to get caught on the outside just sitting back and trying to out jab Deontay Wilder. I don't think it's going to work. So unless Spilka comes in and does something totally, you know, he just shuffle things up and totally does something different i see him getting hit with a straight right hand and getting knocked out um but i do think it'll be entertaining but he's gonna have to jump on deontay wilder i think deontay wilder's in enough shape to go um the distance without any problem um see deontay wilder winning this by knockout ytbc i'm out